Welcome back to Siberia. This is Joyce Selena, and uh, last time our uh, person here, Kate Marston, uh, came to apparently buy out a um, toy company from a little old lady who has subsequently passed away. So the deal wasn't done yet, so we got to make sure we get the deal to buy this factory and for our company in New York. And so we are off to look at the city of Valladolid. Nice benches. I don't think there's anything for us to look at around here, right? Nope. Let's continue forward. Okay, so I have no idea where to start. What's this door? Is this like a basement entrance? A second entrance? No need to go down there. Okay, we're, we're continuing with that already. My goodness. So it looks like I can go up the road that way. Or down the street this way. Let's go down the street this way. Because that looks like it leads off to a church of some type. So we're looking for a factory, I'm assuming. Or a house. Well, let's go in here. This kind of looks like a factory, maybe. And that's to work for the. No down need that to way. go down there. Well, apparently, no. That's not where I need to go. Oh, there's a gate here. I wonder if it leads to this grand place. A little automaton. Hello. Okay. I pushed you. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Oh. So now I get to search for something missing. Which means it's not here, I bet. Okay. Back out. Back down the road. Okay, we'll continue this way. Oh, someone to talk to. Ooh, a boulangerie and patisserie. Oh, I wonder if I can go Good in morning. Here. Are you open? Can I buy something from your bakery? Do you speak oh, English? I'm afraid not. Not oh, possible. Yes. We're closed. I can wait a while. You can wait, but we're closed all day. Day of mourning. I'm sorry. Please accept my condolences. Boy, so and Don't must worry have been about it. Very important. Because of Madame Vorobolg's death, all the shops are closed. Mayor's decision. Try tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I won't be here. That's a pity. Interesting. So, I mean, all of these places then are going to be closed? No need to go down there. Yep. The word would be in. No need to go in there. I'm going to try your door anyway, just to be annoying. Because I want to hear her say it again. No need to go down there. Yep, there you go. And this one. Maybe somebody will be, be breaking the law. Let me in. No need to go down there. Okay, so I guess we're continuing down the street. Well, maybe I will be here tomorrow anyway. And then we'll be able to go into all the shops. Aha! What's this? Another automaton thingy. Okay. But I see something over on the bench. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Yeah. Ah, oh, he's got to look at something. Interesting. He's going to stamp something and look at it. So yes, clearly he needs something to be reading to let me in there. Okay, so what's on the bench? Is that a newspaper? 
Mourning the loss of our of the queen of our hearts. Uh, editorial. Stiff joints. Ecology. The protest group Mountain Peace demonstrated yesterday near the site of the new Espiet Dam. They claim the construction of the dam has damaged the blue warbler's natural habitat. Intervention on the part of the forest ranger was necessary to disperse the demonstrators. I don't know if the blue warbler is the bird that's warbling in the background. Fewer of them would not be a problem. No need to go down there. Okay, so I'm, I don't think he was looking for a newspaper. He's looking enough for a key of some type. So we're going to continue. Right? There was nothing there. Another door. She can't go in. No need to go down there. What about back here? No? No? Another door. That just leads back that way. Leading up this way. I don't see it leading any farther. No need to go down there. Okay, what about here? Aha! Uh -huh. Let's go back behind here. Another gate. I wonder if this is another automaton or if we can actually go through this one. Still can't get through. Okay, so, so clearly we came the exact wrong way. So now we gotta go back. Right, because there's no way to go this way. That's as far as you'll go. Nope. Okay. So back this way. Make sure I didn't miss anything. And back here. Anything else? I already saw you. Okay, well, sorry about that. Note to self. Do not click off the screen. So I have a dual monitor and um, clicked off the screen and the game completely crashed. And I discovered that, um, by the way, I had not bothered saving anything. So I had to quickly uh, redo the pieces of the storyline that we had already done together. So... We'll come back here because now I'm wondering if there's anything on the floor. If we can see the floor, if it just gives us a close-up of this character. Okay, it does. Only shows us that. So if there was anything on the floor, um, I wouldn't have seen it. Great. So we obviously went the complete wrong way. <laughs> so now we get to try to find something to open something somewhere. Or we make our way the other way and that's the way to the factory. So... Okay, no bread or pastries for us. Keep walking. I'll be interested in knowing whether or not I'll be able to go into any of these places if I'm around tomorrow, which I bet you there's a sneaking suspicion in my head that we're not going to be able to finish things as quickly as we thought here in Validolin. Okay, let's see. Oh, what's maybe we can go down here? There's no sprinting or running, quite clearly. It could do with a little running. No, do you not? Oh, keep going. Okay, so is there anything over here? Oh, there's a gentleman over here. Let's talk to him. Good morning. Good morning. What a pleasure to meet such a lovely young lady honoring our aging streets. Please, uh, please sit yourself down next to me so we can enjoy the air together. It would be a pleasure, but I'm afraid I don't have the time. Some other time, maybe. I hope so, miss. I remember when these streets were full of vibrant life. In those days, there was a charming encounter to be had round every corner. Ah, 
Our good little town of Valadilen is not what it used to be. It looks like things have changed a bit around here. Our children have all left the valley. They need to earn a living, don't they? Can't really blame them. You have to move with the times, don't you? And it's not at the Vorlberg factory that they'll find jobs. <laughs> Being excluded from the world is not an easy burden to bear, believe you me, miss. But it's such a pretty little village. Uh, I can tell you're not from these parts. I hope you enjoy the pleasures that we still have to offer. Good day to you. Yeah, not a thriving economy. Hello I again. Take it. If you have five minutes to sit and talk, I could tell you a thing or two about the olden days. I am sorry. I, I really am in a hurry. Ah, uh, it is a pity. Okay, so apparently I can't ask him any more questions, so up the hill. Maybe tomorrow, because chances are I'll be here tomorrow. Over the bridge. Looking. Sorry if I'm a little thorough here, but... You know, that's how it is with point-and-click games. You gotta find where can you click. You know, I know some people might be taken a... Kind of distracted by the graphics, but... Really, for 2003, this was a beautiful, immersive game. Back in the day. Back when I was a kid! Oh, the gates. These were the gates that we saw shut by the automatons after the funeral. So this must be the factory. Knock, knock. No point. It's locked. I'll come back when the funeral is over. Okay, now I'm really confused as to what I could possibly do next. Um, shall we check our phone again? Was there anyone else we should have called? Olivia? Dad? Dan Foster isn't around to take your call right now, so please leave your message after the tone. Nope, not Dan. That's all the numbers I have. Okay. So if I have to wait till after the funeral, what will initiate the funeral to be over? I would assume trying to get into one of those other areas. <laughs> thinking, thinking, thinking. Are we missing something? I have checked everything. Is there anything along here? Not that I see. And this just heads back to where the gentleman is. Huh. The other thing is Momo had talked about, like, he was drawing something. Maybe we need to look at what he was drawing? Okay, that is probably that clicking there. Does this go back into the inn? Yes. Okay, well, let's go see what it was that Momo was drawing. Well, hello. Such a nice greeting. Okay, so Momo's table was over this away. So, oh, see? Oh, we can check on the table. So what was he drawing? Oh, there's more cocks. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six cogs. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cogs, and I have four of them. So I have the large one and probably one of the medium ones. 
I have this one, but I don't have this tiny one. Yeah, that should be interesting. So I have one of these larger ones. I need a second large one and the tiniest one. Okay, well, that's a more puzzle. Still don't have anything that I can use. Okay. Back out of that. I wonder if I can ask this guy about my mission again. Since I took a walk and everything's closed. I'm back again. Miss Walker? Okay, my mission. Could you tell me where I can find a notary here ah. in Valadilen by the name of Alfalter? We only have one notary here, and his house is easy to recognize. You can't miss it. Well, that did not help me I at all. I think I'm going to need your help again. Are you leaving already, Miss Walker? Should we bring down your luggage? No, no, I'm not leaving yet. It's just that... We would love to help, but just think what would happen if the telephone rang, or, or if a fax arrived, or if a customer came through the door. <sighs> we don't have five minutes rest here. I'm sorry. I don't believe you. Oh, it's okay. No biggie. Okay. So this is all the same now. I'm gonna go look around Valadilen. See you later. As you like, miss. So I need to find a house. So somewhere along the clicking, I bet you it's the one that wants something to hang on to. But what can I give him to hang on to? And he's gonna check it over. Do I give him the facts? Maybe that's it. That's I mean that's really all I can think of. I've, there's nothing else for me to pick up. I mean, I guess I'll click on all the doors again, unless it's this guy. No need to go down there. Okay, then the answer is no, not, not that one. See if I can ask him or if he's just gonna give me the same you're not open. We're closed. Try tomorrow. I can't ask you any questions. You are not very helpful, sir. This is a quaint little house. Maybe it's this one. No need to go down there. Uh, no, it's not. Then maybe it's this one. Nothing to pick up. Okay, let's try this. I wonder if I give it the facts. Is that what I said before? I was thinking newspaper, but I'm going to give it the facts. So, let's pull up my... Inventory. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. Fax 2. Put that in your hand. Oh, this thing's jammed. Oh, of course it is. No? Ah! That was it. Yay! So he's actually reading it with his eyeballs through that thing. Okay. Why, thank you for letting me in. Huh. And now, walk this way. More automatons on the desk. Let's see. Well, he knew I was coming. Why didn't he stay there? Approve. Hit the button. Huh. Well, clearly, I don't get to interact with that. Yet. Maybe eventually. Is it the doors? Hello, sir. Aha. Miss Walker, I presume. Have you had a good journey? Everything went very smoothly. Thank you. 
Do take a seat, Miss Walker, please. Okay, which seat? Uh, clearly this one. I imagine you are aware of the business that brings me here. Of course, I was waiting for you. Okay. I am the legal representative for the Universal Toy Company. I'm responsible for... So I understood, Miss Walker. Seeing how as Madame Varlberg is no longer with us, I trust that I can rely on you to conclude the sale? Please do not set your hopes too high, Miss Walker. I fear that I cannot be of much help to you. Well, interesting. So the reason I didn't click on mission is because I always ask the mission last. Like, always do what they want you to do after you've done everything else. So let's ask about Hans. Have you ever met Hans Varlberg, Anna's brother? I have a few vague memories of him, that is all. I was very young at the time. <laughs> very young. If you don't mind, can we come back to that later? Okay, but it breaks my rule. At the tavern, I met a young boy by the name of Momo. I was informed that he is mentally disabled. Whatever his condition, he told me about a man called Hans. He's apparently Madame Varlberg's brother. Moreover, it appears that Hans is not actually dead. What do you think of that? <clears throat> Let us take one thing at a time, Miss Walker. You will receive all the information you need in due course. You can be sure of that. Okay, what about the automatons? That is a magnificent automaton you have at your entrance. I'm very proud of it. And since my health problems, it has become absolutely indispensable for me. Yes, indispensable. It was Anna Vorlberg who had the idea. She provided many houses with this kind of machinery. Interesting. Tell me more about Anna. You don't find it suspicious that Madame Varlberg left us so suddenly? Hmm. Her death took us by surprise. She still seemed to have so much life left in her. I would have loved to have met her. Anna Vorlberg was not only one of my most faithful clients, she was also a very dear friend. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, Miss Walker, I am afraid that the sale of the Vorlberg factory is not as straightforward as it first seemed. Whoa there. Everything was agreed. We'd obtained Anna Vorlberg's consent, and her death does absolutely nothing to invalidate that. Now I have to be back in New York the day after tomorrow, Metro Alphotair. My client and I are impatient to seal this deal. I understand only too well, Miss Walker. <clears throat> there is a... An heir, Miss Walker. Excuse me? An heir? But Madame Varlberg never married, as far as I know. And in my last conversation with her, she absolutely never mentioned this detail. Miss Walker, believe me, I was more surprised than you are. Anna Vorlberg sent me a letter two days before she died. Understand, Miss Walker, that had I known about this earlier, I would have informed you. I shall read you the document in my possession. <clears throat> I am so very old. It seems that today life is slipping away from me more quickly than I imagined, and I fear that I will not be of this world to sign the takeover contract for my dear factory. So, I must make this confession to you now. My brother, Hans, is still alive. It would not surprise me if you find this difficult to believe, but it is indeed the truth. You must remember his death, his funeral, too, even though you were very young at the time, it was but a sordid charade dreamt up by our father. To him, the very idea that his only son should wish to leave Baladilen and abandon the family business was unbearable. When Hans left, he preferred to think him dead and make everybody else believe this too. He obliged me to bear this terrible secret as well. I repeat that Hans is still alive, so when I die, it is he who becomes the sole and rightful heir of our factory. Okay, I see. If Hans Barlberg is not dead after all, then I just have to sign the contracts with him. I suppose you've already contacted him? Where can I reach him? 
The second half of the letter informs us that Hans Vorlberg is somewhere in Siberia. I will leave the document in your hands to read at your leisure. Anna Vorlberg had no further information to add? Unfortunately not, Ms. Walker. I have told you as much as I know. The situation, in legal terms, is now clear. If you want to conclude this sale, you have to find Hans Vorlberg. Apparently, there is a body lying in the town cemetery. There also seems to be some ghost wandering around Siberia. It seems you have your work cut out for you. Believe me, Miss Walker, when I say that I am most sorry for this regrettable setback. Most sorry. Great. What now, then? Perhaps you will find out more in the Vorlberg factory archives. You will find the key in the waiting room. My role in this affair finishes here with the reading of this letter. And now, if you'll excuse me, I must rest. You see, my health is not excellent at the moment, and my doctor forbids me from working for too long. I will not detain you for any longer, Miss Walker. Do not forget to close the door as you go out. Goodbye, sir. Well, that was an unexpected twist. So, we don't get to uh, just sign over the factory to the, the, the deal with Anna is out the door. And so now the search is on for Hans. And so with that, we are going to conclude today. And uh, we will see you next time.